Technology is growing so fast and revolutionizing our daily lives. How does Networking 2.0 impact the world we live in? Networking 2.0 tackles an area in our world that is essentially a constant array of mess. As the number of devices and demand for interconnectivity grows, our traditional systems are becoming complex and often lack inherent privacy and contextual adaptability. Integrity was never part of the internet when vast networking took place. So now Networking 2.0 will give value and people's data like never before. Point is, we're using Networking 1.0 technology that was developed 50 years ago and wasn't really designed for all of today's use cases. So it's about time to move forward to the next generation and that's Networking 2.0. Being able to network everything and connect everything in a secure and simple manner just enables uh, people's imaginations to bring new experiences. Networking 2.0 houses three pillars, addresses, privacy, and context. Addresses are the unique identifiers for networks, which greatly assist in streamlining connections. Privacy is so important in this new digital age because we spend a lot of our time on the internet. Most people my age have accepted the fact that their data is not theirs to own. Most companies control their data, abuse it for money, and it's just no longer their data. It's just a lot of personal data. And so far, the track record with our personal data and the internet is not good. And networking 2.0 empowers everyone with data control using cryptographic keys. My data is no longer a bunch of values sitting on a giant mega server. All my data is encrypted on the edge with my own cryptographic keys on my device. One of the best features of this is being able to determine who has access to your information. End-to-end -end encryption ensures that your data is confidential, untouched by those who don't have permission to see it. Having context as one of the main pillars makes Networking 2.0 human, as it puts people first. People may oftentimes have different answers to the same question depending on who's asking. I was almost brought to tears when we were playing with the new app Buzz app last week. Jeremy had shared some information with me, and as I was looking at it on my phone, he then removed it from my phone with a simple swipe on his. This marks a whole new age of true data ownership. Why do we need networking 2.0 now? Because it's just too complicated at the moment. And so you can come up with ideas, but you get bogged down into the world of IT and IT security, and everything basically says no to you. We want to change that around. We want to be able to say yes and uh, change the world. We need Networking 2.0 to reimagine a connected world where interactions are seamless, personalized, and secure. Networking 2.0 will allow individuals and organizations the ability to share what they want, with whom they want, when they want. Data ownership will be the people where it originally belonged. Networking 2.0, I think, is paving the way for a world where connectivity is fluid, secure, and under your own command, the way you want it. It introduces inherent data privacy and less network management, resulting in less hassle and friction. We need Networking 2.0 because the internet is evolving.